Welcome to episode 13 of Talking Shirts. I'm Mike from Hulk AR Shirts and today I'm going to take a look at this 1989 Adidas Hulk AR shirt. So uh, you may have recently seen, uh, well a few weeks ago now, uh, I posted images of this uh, on, on social media. So it's a, a reasonably new pickup for me. Um, you'll notice that it hasn't got a sponsor on the front. Now that's the kind of the first thing that, that I picked up on when I, when I saw this shirt. Uh, we're used to sort of seeing that either the Hanson print, the Hanson white print, or the Mansfield beer sponsor appearing across the front of there. And that really, really threw me off as to what this shirt actually was. Um, looking at it, you can tell that it's the design from 1986 through to 1989. Um, you know, the same style that we wore at Wembley in 86 against Castleford. <clears throat> so, you know, there's the, a the story behind this as to, as to sort of as to what it is. Now, now I know that this is a player spec shirt because it's got the reinforced stitching, which you can see across this neckline here. If I turn it inside out as well, you can sort of see that just inside here. Um, I will pop a picture up just next to it just so you can kind of see that a little bit clearer because I understand it's quite difficult sometimes on the video. Um, it's also got the, the, the stitched Adidas Trefoil logo. Now, I'll put up a picture of what a non-stitched one, which is like an applied one. So I'll pop that up for you now. So you can see the size of them is, is much different as well. Um, so again, that's another sign that the shirt is, is a player spec shirt. Um, it also has reinforced stitching under the arms. Um, the club crest on this one is stitched in. So it is, it's stitched in um, rather than it being uh, applied on, <clears throat> uh, heat bondedly applied on. So it's definitely um, a, a player a player issue shirt. Now, what I'm going to do is just for the next sort of, it's like maybe 30, 60 seconds, I'm just going to keep popping different images up just for you to look at, just so you can compare while I'm talking. So if you have a look at the neck on this one, this has got a really low V and it even evades into the high breasted red band that we had on this shirt. So you can see here, where the red goes into the band. Now, if you look at some of these images up here, some of the Vs finish up here, some of them finish in the middle, and some of them are really low. So there's a lot of inconsistencies uh, between the shirts that was made uh, for us during that period of time, because you can sort of see where the, the sort of the neckline finishes in different places on each one. So I find that really interesting. Um, I'd love to be able to know as to why that that was the case, but with anything that's a, a sort of like a, a shirt that's sort of 30 plus years old, it's really difficult uh, to find any information on that. So if anybody does know anything, um, you know, I would be really interested in you getting in touch because uh, when it comes to shirts, every day is a learning day. You know, I learn, I learn new things all the time. And I think if I'm not going to expand, expand my knowledge, then what's, what's the point? So, you know, if anybody does have any further information on that, that would be absolutely brilliant. So swing it round to the sides. Um, so again, <clears throat> we've got the, the three stripe branding going on down both sleeves. Now that's it's just iconic, isn't it? You know, you think of Adidas and you think the brand with the three stripes. Um, you know, I, it's just something where I could just look at it all day. I think if every every piece of clothing I owned had the Adidas Trefoil logo on and the three stripes going down the arms, um, I would absolutely love it. You know, I think if it was if it was red and white as well, you know, that would uh, that would also be uh, also be very good. Swinging it round to the back. So um, as I explained to you, uh, it is, it's plain. It's a plain back, backed one. Uh, it doesn't have a, have a number on there, which is why I'm thinking it was maybe, maybe like a blood share or, um, I don't know, maybe like in a prototype that was sort of provided to the club um, by Adidas just to sort of show them what the shirt was going to be like. You know, I've seen a couple of these kicking around. Um, uh, there was a chap called Bob who got in touch with me and said that he's got one as well. Um, so, you know, there is, there is a couple of them kicking around. So... It is. It would be really interesting just to know that little bit more about it. Um, again, I'll quickly swing it round here, but it's exactly the same as the other side, where you've got the the three stripes branding going down there. Um, <clears throat> when I, when I picked this up, uh, the lady who who I bought it off, she said to me, um, "Before before you buy it, um, would you would you like me to wash it? Because uh, it's been in a loft for probably thirty years, um, and it's a little bit smelly." Um, I politely declined and said, "I'll I'll sort it out." Uh, when uh, when I get it, purely because I, I've I've had one of these shirts before, and when I washed it, the red bled into the white ever so slightly, and it kind of went a bit pink. Now, 
I like to think that if I make a mistake once, I won't ever make it again. So this shirt was out on my washing line for about five full days. Um, now, luckily, when you think back to the, the weather that we had uh, during the lockdown in, in May, I was, able to, um, I was able to air it quite well when I bought it. Um, so it did come out quite well, um, along with two bottles of um, fabric spray to make it smell a little bit less. Uh, but, you know, all the same, it doesn't take away, to me, the, the, the value of the shirt. Um, I think it's a, a really, really good addition to have in my collection. Um, I don't have too much stuff from the 80s. You know, I have, I have this, I've got the 86 uh, replica, uh, and I've also got an 86 Wembley jacket. So anything sort of from the 80s, I'm, I'm going to have to, I will snap up because... I think that in, in anything, if I want to uh, enhance my collection, then that is a really, really strong time frame that I do need to expand upon. Um, thank you very much for, for joining us for episode 13. Um, I hope you've enjoyed, I hope you've enjoyed it again. Um, I'll be back in another couple of weeks time with episode 14. <clears throat> if you can think of anything that you'd like me to cover or anything that you want me to, to sort of do, uh, just get in touch and I can, uh, I can arrange that. Uh, thank you very much again for watching. See you all soon. Bye bye.